What's up guys, Dr. Jared here, and these are five of the best rotator cuff strengthening exercises to eliminate pain in your shoulder. But first of all, what is the rotator cuff and why does weakness in this area cause pain? Well, your shoulder is a ball and socket joint. You have the head of the humerus or the ball that sits up in the glenoid cavity or the socket of the shoulder blade. The rotator cuff is four muscles whose primary job is to keep that ball seated squarely in that socket. If it is weak, it can cause migration of the head of your humerus or movement where there's not supposed to be movement, which can lead to impingement, tendonitis, rotator cuff tears, and just shoulder pain in general. So honestly, one of the best ways to eliminate shoulder pain and to keep shoulder pain from happening is to keep that rotator cuff strong and healthy. That's exactly the benefit that I want you to get out of this video today. Now, I do have other rotator cuff strengthening videos here on my channel that primarily use dumbbells for resistance. If you're interested in checking those out, check the description down below. I'll also link them at the end of this video. For today's video though, I wanted to show you five of my favorite exercises that you can do with resistance bands and cables. These are my personal favorite. These are the ones that I recommend to patients and clients all the time. If you don't have cables, if you're interested in picking some up, I've got my favorite set linked down below as well. So rotator cuff strengthening to eliminate your shoulder pain. I hope that these help you out. First exercise coming your way right now. Now the first exercise we're going to start with is actually some rows with our resistance band. The purpose here is to put the shoulder blades in a better position to function from. If you're rounded forward like this, that's a very harmful position for your shoulder. What we need to do is roll back and get the shoulders back, get the shoulder blades together, and just create a much better platform for that shoulder to rotate around. This is how we're going to do it. So you're going to take your resistance band, anchor it here in front of you, starting right here with the arms out straight. You're going to pull your elbows back behind your body. The emphasis is that I really want you to pinch your shoulder blades together in the back. So from right here, we're going to pull and squeeze those shoulder blades together in the back, hold one, two, and then slowly return to that starting position. Now, most people with shoulder pain, this is really easy to tolerate because we're gonna keep the shoulder basically down or keep the arm down below shoulder level and we're primarily activating the posterior muscles or the muscles in the back with this. And so what I recommend is a good 10 to 15 reps and then we're going to repeat that three times. Now, if we want to strengthen the trapezius muscle, again, that's an important muscle that controls where our shoulder blades are. A band A, like the letter A, is one of my favorite exercises to do that. Basically, if I were to stand in front of you in this position right here, my arms come up, it kind of looks like an A. That's the position that we're after with the bands. And so again, we're gonna start with the bands out in front of you. I'm going to pull with my arms straight until those handles get about to my hips, even back behind my hips if you can, and then slowly return to that starting position. I did rotate my thumbs out, and so right here we've got thumbs up. When we get to that um, bottom position or the extended position, I've got my thumbs over towards you. So I'm externally rotating through my shoulder as I'm performing that A exercise. Again, the emphasis is squeezing those shoulder blades together in the back as you perform this one. Again, three sets of about 10 to 15 reps is a great number to shoot for. Exercise number three is probably my personal favorite on the entire list. This is going to be a face pull. I'm going to raise the band up so that it's about eye level. If you had a cable, you'd raise it up so that it's about eye level. Starting position is right here with the arms extended at about shoulder height. In this position, what I'm going to do is pull the bands until I get into this position right here. I still want your elbows lower than your shoulder, but I want your elbows are lower than your shoulder, elbows are bent to a 90 degree angle, and the thumbs are pointed back behind you. So that's kind of the position that we're going for at the finish. So from right here, we're going to pull through the band. Again, elbows come to about a 90 degree. Um, thumbs are back behind my head as much as I can. Hold one, two, and then slowly return to that starting position. If this causes shoulder pain, it's most likely because your elbow is too high. Just try to keep your elbow tucked down a little bit more. If it's below the level of your shoulder, that should eliminate any of that pain that you might be experiencing. And so that's what the face pull looks like. Three sets of about 10 to 15. And again, I actually do this one on most upper body gym days. If I'm, if I'm lifting anything in the gym that requires my upper body, this is one of my favorite exercises to perform either as a warm up or as a cool down. 
Uh, finally, our last two exercises are a little more rotator cuff specific. We're going to do some internal rotation and some external rotation. And so to perform the external rotation exercise, we're going to lower the band so that it's about the level of my belly button. I'm gonna start in this position right here. My right elbow is tucked in at my side and then also bent to a 90 degree angle as it grabs this, the, the handle on the other side. From this position, I'm going to keep my elbow at the 90 degree and then pull the back of my hand towards the opposite wall right over there, just until I get a good contraction in the rotator cuff, these muscles right here in the back of my shoulder. I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna hold one, two, and then I'm gonna slowly return back down to that starting position again. And it looks just like this. With this one, the parameters are about the same. I'm gonna perform about 10 to 15 high quality reps, and I'm going to repeat that three times. Now for the internal rotation exercise, the setup looks very similar, but now we're gonna work the other side. And so I'm going to start in this position right here. My left elbow is now bent to a 90 degree angle. I'm gonna hold it in that angle as I pull it across my body in this direction, hold one, two, and then return back to that starting position. So that's what internal rotation looks like. Now on this one, it's crucial that you maintain good upright posture with this. I don't want you to like round forward and really try to involve a lot of the pec to bring that band across your body. Maintain really good posture and understand that we're focusing just on one very small internal rotator muscle right there in your shoulder. Numbers on this one are about the same, 10 to 15 high quality repetitions, and we're going to repeat that three times. Now again, if you don't have access to bands, I've got you covered with some dumbbell exercises to strengthen your rotator cuff. Check that video out right here. YouTube thinks that you might like this one for some reason. If you liked this video and haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I'd love to see you back for future videos. Hit the circle right here to do that. And we'll see you again soon right here on Tone and Titan.